Welcome back to the Moondogs Homestead. Today we're going to make just a regular loaf of bread with just the wild yeast that's in the sourdough culture. No commercial yeast today, so stick around. All right, we're going to make us a loaf of sourdough bread. And this time I'm not going to put commercial yeast in it. Um, I'm just going to use the wild yeast that's in it. I'm just gonna run through it with you real quick. Then I'll put you over here where you can see what I'm doing, so hold on. We're gonna put this in the mixer. I'm gonna put a cup of warm water. I'm gonna turn my scale on and tear it out because I know I need a cup of warm water, okay? Then I'm also gonna put a cup of this. I'm just gonna put it in. I'm gonna use this measuring cup. I'm gonna put a cup of sourdough starter I want it to rise pretty quick. We're just gonna let it rise for about, I don't know, four to six hours, maybe eight, depending on your kitchen. And then we're gonna bake it. It's pretty simple, okay? So we're gonna use a whole cup of my sourdough starter. And I don't know if you can see this. Ooh, okay, see how it's floating? You can tell it's still active and, and going there, it's still, it's good to use. All right, so we got a cup of that, a cup of warm water, a cup of starter, and we're gonna do um, a fourth of a cup of olive oil. I've got it set right here. And then I'm gonna give this a little stir, and I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna start out, well, I, all my bread, I start out about three cups. So we're gonna start out about three cups of I didn't even use my thing. I thought I, I'm still on the other bread, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm making other bread for an order. And <laughs> I was thinking I was going to have to measure it, but I've got this all figured out. So let me get that out of there. We're going to start out with three cups of flour. And I don't, I just kind of shake it off at the top. I don't get particular. Now we'll probably end up adding more, I'm just going to tell you, but you want to start out. It's better to add a little at a time because you can't take it away once you put it in, okay? Get you over here. Okay, now I'm also going to put in about one and a half teaspoons of salt. Let me shut this off. It's going to be one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay. And get it going again. Okay, if you can see in there, you see how it's still kind of sticking down at the bottom? We're gonna put a little more. We're just gonna add a little at a time, okay? Now listen, <clears throat> I would tell you, let me turn this off for a minute. I would tell you how much, and I would measure this out, but it wouldn't matter, because if you're using a wheat bread, a wheat flour or um, spelt or einkorn or any kind of other flour, it's going to be different for you, okay? And even a different brand of white flour. I'm using bread flour and it could be a different brand. So that's why I tell you just do a little at a time to start out with three cups. See how it's pulling away from the bowl? That's what you want. That's what you want to see. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going, we're going to go ahead and, um, Mix it, knead it for six to eight minutes, okay? So go ahead and do that for six to eight minutes. And I've added enough flour. That's all the flour I need because it's pulling all the way around, away from the bowl. All right, we're gonna get us a loaf pan. You can use glass, metal, um, cast iron, whatever you wanna use. We're gonna spray it. Or you can put some butter in it, whatever you wanna use. Then we're gonna get our dough out here. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of stretch it just a little bit, not a lot. Make sure it's about the length of my pan. 
little longer. You can go a little longer because you're going to tuck the ends. And then I'm just going to roll it. Okay. Put a little flour down on your board or whatever you're using because it'll be a little bit sticky. And we're just going to tuck our ends in a little bit. We're not going to get real fancy. And we're just going to put it in there. Now we're going to let this rise just over our sides, okay? And I'm going to put a... I'm going to put... I'll show you what I'm going to put. Hold on. All right. Listen, I'm going to put you up here for a minute and tell you something. I went to cosmetology school uh, many years ago. And you couldn't tell, but I'm just saying. Um, these shower cap or processing caps, um, some people call them shower caps. I think if you order them off Amazon, they're shower caps. But I think you can even get them at Walmart. I'm not sure. You can get them at like Sally's and different places. Um, I usually just order mine off Amazon. But I use these with stuff like this. Now, sometimes I like to use tea towels for a lot of stuff. Okay, I do. Um, when I'm using yeast because it doesn't have time to dry out. Okay, but you don't want this to dry out. So I'm going to put what I do is I spray a little bit in there in that cap. And then I put this cap right over my bread like this because you don't want it to dry out. Okay. And that's what I do. And now I'm going to put it in a warm spot and I'm going to, when it comes up and just hits that lip over that lip and it's a little domed, that's when we're ready to bake. Okay. So, um, probably, uh, when it starts getting really close, you need to preheat your oven to 350. We're going to cook it at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. You want to watch it. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside and let it do its thing. And then I'll bring you back when we're ready. Okay. Don't go nowhere. All right, you guys. Our bread is right at the top. I'm going to go ahead because I've got some other bread I've got to cook so or bake. So I have got to go ahead and do this. I think he'll be fine. He's just above the rim. Ju just above the edge. Just barely above the edge. Now, I'm gonna, you don't have to do this step. I'm just going to do this step, okay? But it's not necessary, you don't have to. I'm just gonna kind of make it a little pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit of egg wash on him. You wanna be gentle, cause you don't wanna bust him or make him go down. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on him. And I didn't have any, um, I've got some sesame seeds, but I didn't want sesame seeds. And I got some pumpkin, sunflower. I didn't want those. So I'm going to put, because I love this, <laughs> everything's bagel seasoning on it. Okay. Hope you guys can see this. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on him. I just love this stuff. And we're going to put this in. I'm getting it everywhere. We're going to put it in the oven at 350. We're going to check it in about 30 minutes. When it reaches an internal temp of 195 to 200, it's done. Um, you just watch it. it. You may have to go to 40 minutes. But I'm going to check it at 30 minutes. So I'll get right back with you. Okay. Let's see. Put a little butter on it. Butter makes everything better. No, I don't know if it does or not. Look at that. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's try it. It's got my seasoning on it. You guys know I like that seasoning. Oh, sour. It's sitting fermented all day. It should be sour. That's good. Now Tim wouldn't like this. <clears throat> and he and what's weird is he likes sour and I don't like sour. Like he can eat lemon heads and all kinds of stuff like that. 
And I don't like that stuff. But I like sourdough when it ferments all day or two days. So I just throw a little yeast in his and get it baked and it don't have time to ferment. That's good. All right, well, there you go. If you want the sourdough with no commercial yeast, with this tangy taste that takes, you know, hours to ferment, this is, you need to try this one. Yeah, this smells good. Oh, it smells good. Isn't that pretty? Pretty and tastes really good. That's going to be good for dinner. It's going to be good for breakfast. All right. I'm going to get out there. Lord willing. I'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a blessed evening. Bye.